Good morning children welcome back I am Mrs Sitara your social science teacher in today's session we will continue our learning process of class 7 term 3 unit 2 in history art and architecture of tamil nadu part 3 come children let us learn dears before going into today's session let us have a recap of what we learned in the last one dears we learned about the pallava epic and the pandya temples in the pallava epic dear children the earliest examples of tamil dravidian architectural tradition were the 7th century rocket shrines at mahabalipuram the absence of monuments in south india prior to the 7th century is attributed by scholars to temple or to have built in wood which were eventually destroyed by the forces of nature The evolution of temple architecture in Tamil Nadu took took place in five stages. They are the Pallava epic, early Chola epic, later Chola epic, Vijayanagara or Naik epic and modern epic. The Pallava epic witnessed a transition from rocket to freestanding temples. Rocket temples were initially built by carving a rock to the required design and then rocks were cut to build temples. The great Pallava king Mahendra Varman was a pioneer in rocket architecture. Mandagattapattu temple was the first rocket temple built by King Mahendra Varman. The Shore temple at Mahabalipuram called as Seven Pagodas was built by the Pallava king Narasimha Varman too. It is the oldest structural temple in South India. The structural temples were built using blocks of rocks instead of a whole block as earlier. Narasimha Varman II, also known as Raja Simha, built the Kanchi Kailasnatha Temple. Nandi Varman II built the Vaikunda Perumal Temple at Kanchi Puram. The early Pandyas were the contemporaries of the Pallavas. The Pandyas unlike Pallavas installed deities in the sanctum in their cave temple. Most important temples built by the Pandyas are can be found in Malayadi Kuruchi, Ani Malai, Tiruparakundram and Tiruchirappalli. And these caves were dedicated to Shiva, Vishnu and Brahma. Rocket and structural temples are significant part of the Pandya architecture. The illustrious examples of rocket style is the unfinished Kalugamalai Vetuvan Kol Temple. It is a monolithic temple at Kalugamalai, hewn out of a huge boulder on four sides. The Meenakshi Avan Temple in Madurai and Nelliyappa Temple in Tirunelveli represent examples of Pandyan's architectural styles. The walls of the caves are decorated by bas reliefs of the god and goddesses. In the case of structural temples the walls of the sanctums are free from image decorations instead you can find superstructures and pillars which have sculptures and the sculptures look majestic having elaborate shoulders slim bodies beautiful ornaments and high crowns Tirupura Kundram Ani Malai and Kalugamalai have the bas reliefs of many deities like Shiva Vishnu Brahma Parvati Subramanya Ganapati and Dakshina Murthy Caves at Sitan Vasal have outstanding early Pandya paintings. Sitan Vasal was a residential cave of the Jain monks. They painted the walls with fresco paintings. Among the surviving fresco paintings, the Lotus Pond is notable for its excellent execution of colors and exposition of the scene. The Sitan Vasal paintings have similarities with the Ajanta paintings. The early Pandya paintings can be also found in Tirumalai Puram but they are in damaged condition. Dear children in this session we will discuss about the early Chola epic. Children now let us learn about the early Chola epic. The Cholas came to limelight in AD 850 under Vijayala Chola and continue to govern the region for about 400 years. So children you have already learned that Cholas came into existence or into the limelight during the uh, 850 AD uh, under the reign of Vijayala Chola and they reigned the region about 400 years and for the early Chola epic the temple at Dadapuram near Dindivanam in Tamil Nadu is worth mentioning so you can find 
the beautiful creations of chola epoch in the temple at dadapuram d a d a p u r a m dadapuram dear children the early chola architecture followed the style of sembian mahadevi sembian mahadevi was a mother of uttama chola and dominates the world of the early cholas she builds rebuilds of stone old brick temples constructs new temples and make lavish grants of land gold jewels and endowments for festivals feeding the pious and the learned metal casting received her special attention and some of the greatest works of art in south india are found in the temples she built and patronized Dear children, the temples built by Sembian Mahadevi or under her inspiration had Deva Koshtas with deities ranging from 9 to 16. The Tirupurambiyam temple was refashioned in the days of Sembian Mahadevi so as to accommodate and insert the additional deities in improvised niches to the determinant of even the old inscriptions on the walls and without regard even to the artistic taste but to satisfy the Sembian age. Temples with increased number of Devakoshta figures can be classified as belonging to the Sembian style. Temples with increased number of Devakoshta or niche figures can be classified as belonging to the Sembian age. One such Devakoshta is shown in the picture there. Tirupurambiyam is an illustrious example of the early template that was refashioned in the days of Sembian Mahadevi. So the Tirupurambiyam temple was refashioned uh, according to the Sembian style. Now children let us learn about later Chola epoch. The maturity attained by Chola architecture is reflected in the two magnificent temples of Tanjavur and Gangai Konda Cholapuram. The magnificent Tanjavur big temple dedicated to Shiva completed around AD 1009 is a fitting memorial to the material achievements of the time of Raja Raja. The picture you see is that of Brigadishwara temple at Tanjavur. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva and it's built on Dravidian style of temple architecture by the Chola ruler Raja Raja I. It is one of the most magnificent architectural geniuses on the surface of earth. The temple tower is believed to be the tallest in the world and the temple complex consists of other beautiful structures that glorify the incredible craftsmanship of the architects of that era. You can find the huge Shivalinga located at the sanctum or the Garbhagriha. A huge Nandi draws a crowd from world over. The temple tower or the Gopuram or the Vimana is constructed in such a manner that its shadow disappears at noon. That is because the Vimana the, is bigger than its pinnacle. You can also find the picture of Gangai Konda Cholapuram temple. It is a fine example of the Dravidian architecture during the Chola era. It is located in Gangai Konda Cholapuram in the Arialur district of Tamil Nadu. It is believed to have been built in 1035 AD by King Rajendra Chola I, son of King Rajaraja Chola who built the original much larger Brigadishwara temple in Tanjavur. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva and he is worshipped here in the form of Lingam which is 18 feet wide and 13 feet tall. It is considered to be one of the largest Lingams constructed in the country. The idol of Nandi is placed in such a way here that it reflects light into the sanctum. The flooring of the sanctum is made up of Chandrakanta stone slabs which remain cool during the summer and warm during the winter months. A whole city was believed to have been built around the temple. The name means the town of the Chola who took over the Ganges or water from Ganga or who defeated the kings near Ganga. Children, now let us learn about the Tanjavur big temple. At the time the big temple of Tanjavur was constructed, it was a huge temple complex. The 216 feet Vimana, that is the structure over the Garbhagriha, you can see the picture there, is notable as it is one among the tallest man-made shikharas of the world. You can see how tall it is, 216 feet. Children, due to its massive height, the shikara is called the Dakshina Meru. 
ಡಿ ಎ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ಎನ್ ಎ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಎಮ್ ಇ ಆರ್ ಯು ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಮೇರು ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಸೌತ್ ಮೇರು ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಬಿಗ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಹೈಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶಿಖರ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಂಡ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಮೇರು ದ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಬುಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ of nandi measures about 16 feet long and 13 feet height and is carved out of a single granite rock you can see the picture of nandi there now let us learn the details of the gangai konda cholapuram temple the gangai konda cholapuram the place served as a chola capital for about 250 years until the decline of the cholas and the rise of the pandya so gangai konda cholapuram was the capital of the cholas for nearly 250 years the brigadeshwara temple of gangai konda cholapuram built by rajendra chola is undoubtedly as worthy a successor to the brigadeshwara temple at tanjavur so tanjavur's temple brigadeshwara temple's follower or successor was the brigadeshwara temple at gangai konda cholapuram the height of gangai konda cholapuram temple is 55 meters dear children the sanctum has two stories as in the big temple at tanjavur The outer wall has many projections with niches and recesses on three sides. In the niches there are images of Shiva, Vishnu and other gods. This temple complex has shrines of Chandishwar, Ganesha and Mahishasura Mardini. So you can find the shrines in the temple complex that of Chandishwar, Ganesha and Mahishasura Mardini. Now children let us learn about Dharasuram. Dharasuram near Kumbhakonam is a later Chola period temple rich in architectural splendor which is dedicated to Airavadeshwara that is Shiva as the god of Lord Indra's elephant. So Shiva is there worshipped in the there as Airavadeshwara which is the Lord Indra's elephant. Raja Raja II constructed this temple. This temple is another landmark of the Chola architecture. You can see this Dharasuram temple after Prigadishwara temple and Gangai Konda Cholapuram temple. Then you have the Airavateshwara temple at Dharasuram. This is another landmark of the Chola architecture. The Mahamandabam is an elaborate structure. You can find the Mahamandabam which is an elaborate structure. Dear children, the entire structure looks like a Radha or a chariot because it has four wheels at the Mahamandabam. You can see the four wheels of the chariot. So it looks like a Radha or a chariot. The sanctum and pillars have many sculptures which are miniatures of various mythological figures. The sanctum as well as the various pillars you can find miniatures of various mythological figures a compound wall runs round the temple with a gopuram there is also a gopuram as well as a compound wall which is running round the temple dear children the picture shows the airavateshwara temple which is built in a hindu temple of dravidian architecture located in the town of dharasuram near kumbakonam in tanjavur This temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva and also displays Vaishnavism and Shaktism towards Hinduism along with legends associated with Naimars and Bhakti movements the saints of Shaivism. The stone temple incorporates a chariot structure and includes major Vedic and Puranic deities such as Indra, Agni, Varuna, Vayu, Brahma, Surya, Vishnu, Durga, Saraswati, Lakshmi, Ganga, Yamuna, Subramanya, Ganesha, Kama and Rati. It has two sundials namely morning and evening sundials which can be seen as wheels of the chariots. Now children let us learn about later Pandyas. The contribution of later Pandyas to South Indian art was significant. A case point is the cave temple at Piliyarpati near Karikudi in Tamil Nadu belonging to the 13th century. So you can find a cave temple at Piliyarpati which is belonging to the 13th century. This temple is important both for its sculptures and for an inscription. It has got an inscri inscription. A beautiful Ganesha is carved facing the entrance. The importance of the figure referred to Desi Vinayaka in the cave inscription is that there are two arms with the trunk turning to the right. 
it is time for recap dear children in this session we discussed about the early chola epoch we learned that the cholas came into limelight in ad 850 under vijayala chola and continued to govern the region for about 400 years the temple of dadapuram near tindivanam in tamil nadu is worth mentioning of cholas architecture the early chola architecture followed the style of sembian mahadevi tirupurambiyam temple is an illustrious example of the early temple that was refashioned in the days of sembian mahadevi the maturity attained by chola architecture is reflected in two magnificent temples of tanjavur and gangai konda cholapuram the tanjavur big temple dedicated to shiva was completed around 80009 is a fitting memorial to the material achievements of of the time of raja raja with a 216 feet vimana which is the largest or the tallest man made shikaras of the world it is called because of its height as dakshina meru the huge bull structure nandi measures about 16 feet to 13 feet high The Brigadeshwara Temple of Gangai Konda Cholapuram built by Rajendra Chola is undoubtedly as worthy a successor to the Brigadeshwara Temple of Tanjavur with a height of 55 meters. Darasuram near Kumbakonam is a later Chola period temple rich in architectural splendor dedicated to Airavathishwara. Raja Raja II constructed this temple also. This is another landmark of the Chola architecture. Dear children, in the next session we will discuss about the Vijayanagara epoch. Time for worksheet. Worksheet number three. Answer the following. Point out the special features of Tanjavur Big Temple. Point out the special features of Tanjavur Big Temple. Question number two. Write a note on Darasuram. Write a note on Darasuram. That's all for today's session, my dear children. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel, youtube.com/samachirkalvi guide. Thank you. Stay blessed.